What is happening and welcome to Texas Hill Country. I am just getting set up on the hunt lease, putting out trail cameras today, but this is the beginning of my annual trip to the Hill Country of Texas for the opening of gun season for whitetail deer. For those that aren't familiar, this is The Real Outdoors. I am Tim Jones. Click on that red subscribe button and you can join us for outdoors videos that include my hunting trips, outdoor gear and reviews, camping, hiking, backpacking, hammocking, all that fun stuff. But right now we are in the Texas Hill Country. Just getting things set up for a beautiful hunt this year. This is my eighth year in this part of Texas hunting and it just gets better every year. Wait until you see the new hunt camp cabin. It's unreal. This has been a great year. I've got two buddies joining me later on this week before hunting season opens on Saturday. But right now, we've got a little work to do. So let's get to it. I am all moved in, got a little something to eat. And now I'm just relaxing on the front porch. Got my spotting scope out, set up on the tripod, and uh, 
just watching to see. Sun sets in about an hour. I can actually see one of our stands from the front porch, which is crazy. There's a feeder too, but it's kind of hidden behind a tree. The sign I saw at one stand today was crazy. The only bad thing is the stand is kind of falling apart. Some birds moved in and ruined it, ruined the floor. So I put a pop-up line there because the sign was just insane. I couldn't believe all the rubs and scrapes and big buck poop. I mean, it was just tore up. I've never seen anything like it. Maybe where I'm going opening day. We'll have to see with my other two hunting buddies. But I'm just going to sit here and kind of watch the sunset and see what wanders by. Friday morning and we are out picking up our trail cameras. It was 28 this morning. It's freezing, which is awesome for deer movement. First camera I pulled had 1,200 pictures. That's from Tuesday to Friday. 1,200 single pictures. Not burst, single pictures. Whew, lots of activity, good stuff.
it's opening day in Texas, and I already have a buck on the ground. I almost shot this guy last year. He's a very old six point. I wanted to sit and wait and hopefully see a bunch of stuff, but it was just totally presented itself. It was so awesome the way it went down. He went right to a scrape that I knew about. Licked the licking branch, started scraping with his hoof, and right about the time he was doing that, I shot him. I mean, it just couldn't be more perfect. He was one of the two bucks I wanted to shoot. I wanted either him or a 10 point that's out here. I mean, he just walked right in first thing this morning. I mean, after opening day, we're on the same property for a week. So each and each day, you have less and less chance of seeing your target bucks. Now I can just relax and enjoy the rest of the week hunting. There are so many doe out here right now.
All right, I got my buck. Like I said, he's he's a six point, very old deer. He was old last year, and I almost shot him then. First time with my new Diamondback AR 308. Took him down right in his tracks, no problem. So it was awesome. Great morning, lots of activity. I'm just excited to have this guy on the ground. It was one of the two target bucks I was targeting. So you can't complain. When they present an opportunity, you gotta take it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and field dress this guy. I'm gonna try something new for the first time. I've never used a fixed blade before. I talked in a video about my favorite field dressing kit. Put that up in the eye in the sky, but it's the Outdoor Edge uh, Pro. And, uh, you know, I have that, but I really wanna try a fixed blade and see how that works. I've never done it before. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I've got a SOG seal pup that a friend gave to me. And in honor of him, I want to give that a try and see how it works. I know it's a very sharp knife. Let's see how it works for field dressing.
day two in Texas. I switched stands. I'm on what's called the loud stand because it's an aluminum stand and it's loud as heck. I saw some nice deer this morning. Uh, none that I would shoot. I'm holding out. There's a triple beam and there's a couple 10 points running around, so I'm kind of holding out for one of those. My cousin Joe shot an eight point this morning. Uh, him and Tim are on their way to the butcher to hand that in. And I'm gonna sit all day and um, see what we see and hopefully comes something comes, the shooter comes along. We're walking over and trying to recover the buck I just shot. He dropped. So he didn't he didn't go anywhere. He dropped right where I shot him. I just wanna I think it's that triple beam buck, which is what I was after. What a night. I got a lot of deer on tape. They were moving. They were rotting this morning. I didn't see much this morning. <laughs>
It is. It's the triple beam. All right. All right, it's day three in the afternoon. I am looking for a specific 10 point that's on the property. He's been coming to this stand and one other stand. I've got my buddy Mike over on the other stand that he's coming to. So hopefully one of the two of us sees it and gets it. We've got three days in and three bucks at the processor. So it's been good. Now it's just, it's all gravy from here. It's just nice, easy going on. It's gonna be a good time. Right at 1045. No. Made your way back out in the field. It's a little, it's like a little four point. That's where I threw my corn out this morning, right by the trough. I already packed up and everything. I was getting ready to get out of the stand. It's about 10.40. All right, it's uh, Tuesday afternoon. Saw three or four little four-pointers, a couple six-pointers, eight to 10 does this morning over at the trough stand. This afternoon, I'll be hunting in called Trouble, Trouble Stand, and it's where Mike shot Triple Beam two days ago. Um, it's a light mist this afternoon, it's still warm, it's about 60 degrees. Tim and I, when we were coming into the stands this afternoon, we saw the big 10-pointer that we're all looking for. It was bedded down beside the road and the location we, we saw him was between three stands, and it's the three stands that we're all hunting this evening. So hopefully one of us will see the big 10-pointer and be able to harvest that animal. But um, looking forward to this stand, looking forward to this afternoon hunt. Beautiful location, even even with the drizzle outside, it's still a beautiful location. A lot of property to, 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 to glass. Um, 
I'll give you a quick view. That's where the feeder is. That's up where Mike shot triple beam the other night. He came out from the left side there. Really cool shot. There's a lot of land to look at. He's going to go down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's struggling. I hit him good. He's dead, but he just don't know it yet. I'm not going to shoot him again because he's fallen down three times. He got back up. I'm going to get back on him just in case. Yeah, he's down. I'm just going to let him expire right there. He just hasn't died yet. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Loud stand produced again. Mike shot that triple beam here earlier. I just, uh, it's either an eight, big eight, or a nine. He's down right where I shot him. He took a couple steps, flopped around there a little bit, but he's finally expired. I'm going to answer Tim on the radio. He keeps yelling at me. Okay, I'm just leaving the damn stand. That's the stand itself, and now I'm, this is over towards the feeder where this deer was. I'm gonna walk up and harvest there, pick it up. He's over to the left. Here's the feeder. And he was walking over this way. I shot him in this area. You can actually see his belly. Other side of that scrub. Here he lays, right? Here he lays, right there. It's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Pleased with this.
So what are we doing here, Tim? We're taking a doe. So our landowner asked us to do a little bit of land, uh, doe management and respect his wishes and take a doe. Awesome. Just good management practices. Just cruising. That would be DRT. Right there. Nice shot. Thank you. November the 7th, 19. Now, white-tailed deer antlerless only. White-tailed deer antlerless only. Tim's just harvested his doe and now he's uh, filling out his uh, tag before we go up there and field dress it and drag it off of the theater. temperature has really changed. I mean, it's dropped probably 25 degrees. At least the rain stopped. It rained very hard earlier today from probably six o'clock until about one. A 60 yard shot. The uh, tell me what happened there, Tim. Well, feeder went off after I shot her, scared Joe and I to death. <laughs> we nearly wet ourselves, but there's corn all over her now. <laughs> the feeder threw corn all over her. Poor thing. Oh, let's get this tag on you. Yeah. Well, that's the end of another great hunting season in the Texas Hill Country. Until next year. Hey, once again, this is The Real Outdoors. We do videos about hunting, backpacking, all around outdoors. So if that's something that interests you and you like this video, please click that red subscribe button and we'd love a thumbs up for this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.